Hi guys, Fairy Jim here. Today we're going to have a look at a sheep shank. This is a sheep shank here. This is another knot used to shorten the length of rope. So I'm going to pull on that very tight and it doesn't move. The difference with the sheep shank is, see we've got this bit of black tape here. This is a knot to take, shorten the length of rope that is a damaged section. So if you're working with a rope under load and it's frayed or damaged or cuts a sharp edge, and you haven't got a knife around, or if you cut it, it's too short to use, you can use the sheep shank to shorten the rope. So I'll show you how we do it. I'll just undo this. All right. So the black bit of tape here is our damaged section of rope, and we want to take this out of play when we put the rope under load. So what we do is we make an S with the rope. So I'm going to move it so my damaged section is in the centre part of the S. You see that there? So here's our damaged section of rope. Now all we do is, I just draw that, I'm going to take the leading edge going away from one side and I'm going to twist it over the top so that the top part or the leading part away is on the top and all I'm going to do is just poke this edge here through there. So just poke that through there and now I'm just going to pull this bit here a little bit tight and hold it there, that'll just stay there. I'll squeeze this and I'm going to do the same again here. I'm going to take this bit here and we're going to twist it over the top. So once again the long part is at the top leading away. I'm going to take this part here and stick it down through the top of that loop I just made. There like that and just pull the long end of the rope away and there we have our sheep shank. Our damaged part is in the centre and I can pull quite tightly on that and that won't come apart. Now, if you're going to use it for a while, good idea to secure this part of the loop here to the long part there. Secure those two. You could use a cable tie or you could use some seasoning or a bit of electrical tape. You can make that loop as big as you want obviously and secure that and then also at this end do the same so we'll be securing those two there this one and that one all right cable tie just cable tie those together and at the other end and then our sheep shank is nice and safe and there's our damage section there piece of cake very handy to have if you damage a bit of rope and you still need to use it Alright guys, that's it for the day. Hope you enjoyed that. See you later.